AI, or artificial intelligence, is finding its way into more and more products. A popular AI application is facial recognition. Today, I will show you how to implement facial recognition using Core Vector Blocks, Microchip's AI inferencing engine. There are three documents that are provided to help you become familiar and to implement a design using Core Vector Blocks. They are the IP Handbook, the Programmer's Guide, and the Hardware Demo Guide. Much of the content in this video is explained in the Hardware Demo Guide. As a review, AIML consists of a training framework and an inferencing framework. There are many training frameworks such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, Darknet, and many more. Neural network models are trained in these frameworks in an iterative process until the results are acceptable. The trained networks are then passed to an inferencing framework where they are optimized and formatted for the target hardware. The flowchart to the right is the Core Vector Blocks SDK flow, which implements inferencing framework functionality. It targets Microchip's world class Polifire mid range FPGA family. Polifire FPGAs, coupled with Core Vector Blocks, offers complex AI capabilities with industry leading lowest power, perfect for edge applications. For this implementation, two neural networks are cascaded. Retina Face detects faces by identifying facial landmarks such as eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. It also generates coordinates of the face locations. Sphere Face creates vectors of facial characteristics from a provided data set of faces and compares them to vectors created from faces in the video. Video is input over HDMI. Each frame gets resized by the scaler to a pixel array size that Retina Face accepts. Coordinates of face locations are passed to the post-processing block for further adjustments. The tracker reformats the results for compatibility with sphere face and anticipates subsequent face location using Kalman filtering. The frames get cropped, resized, and rotated as each face is input to sphere face. Sphere face IDs the faces and assigns labels or names to those it recognizes. The tracker merges these information with coordinates as it readjusts back to the original frame size. In the final step, the display control draws the boxes with the names around each face and drives the frames out HDMI to a monitor. The image to the right is the video kit. Steps are provided in the hardware demo guide to set up the video kit hardware. Since there are a couple of different demos that come with the video kit, Step 8 is necessary for the facial recognition demo. The assembled demo is showing the HDMI connections. One cable connects the video source, in this case a laptop, to the video kit, and the other connects the video kit to a monitor. Note that the source has the original video, and after processing by the Core Vector Blocks IP, bounding boxes and labels are overlaid. What you are viewing now is the facial recognition demo in action. Video is being run through core vector blocks. The IP is running retina face followed by sphere face. As discussed earlier, the face locations are identified by retina face. The face in each location is ID'd by sphere face, which attaches names to the faces. The numbers you see in each label is the network's confidence that it has identified the correct person. Values of 50 or greater indicate a good match. I hope you found this demonstration of Core Vector Blocks' facial recognition useful. For further information, please follow the link on top for all Core Vector Blocks documentation and getting started material. You will find the hardware demo guide which was followed in this video, as well as other documentation and downloads necessary to run Core Vector Blocks on your platform. Thank you for watching.